All right, today we're interviewing Tom Hogan. Tom is a BMX freestyle rider. He has uh, been at seven Gravity Games and five X Games, and he's one of the pioneers of the sport. And for those of you who are not familiar with BMX freestyle, it's the, the athletes who do incredibly difficult tricks on BMX bikes in terrain parks, on half pipes, and on these huge ramp jumps. So it's, it's an incredibly skill-oriented sport, and um, Tom, we're really glad to have you on the call with us tonight. Oh, thanks for having me. So, Tom, what do you think about oxygen? I mean, I know you've been using it for a couple of years now. What's your experience been like? You know, it's been amazing. It's been one of the most immeasurable things I've had with my career. Um, you know, I'm getting older now. I'm almost 35, in fact. I'm getting to the point now where I'm riding my bike every day, and I'm not 20 years old. I get tired quick now because I'm pushing my body 100% every day. I can't ride five or six hours straight like I used to when I was a kid without having something to help me because I just need that extra help, that extra energy, that extra stamina. And this has been something that really has benefited me so much because I can literally take it with me when I do my training, use it during the course of my training with no side effects, and I can get through everything I need to do in the entire day with no side effects at all, which is really, really beneficial to me. So has it affected, like, power? Has it affected endurance or recovery? I mean, those are the three things that we normally talk about with oxygen. How has it helped you? You know, it, it's actually helped me with all three of those things, which is amazing because um, for me, it's like if I'm training, and let's say I've trained every day of the week, which I do train seven days a week when I'm home, maybe by the fourth or fifth day in the week, I am really exhausted. And if I'm feeling sluggish and I take oxygen when I'm training, it's almost instant that I have that much more energy. Like it literally feels like I've, I've gone from zero energy to having 100% energy just like that. The stamina I get from taking the oxygen keeps me through the sessions, it keeps me training really hard for a couple hours straight. And when I train... I'm not taking breaks. I'm riding my bike straight um, constantly. Like, I'm really keeping my heart rate up. I'm pushing it really hard. I can get through my sessions, through my training for a couple hours straight on the oxygen. And the, the crazy thing is, is that when I wake up the next day, normally I would wake up and I feel like I hit by a truck and I couldn't even move. But I can wake up the next day and feel 100% refreshed again. Yeah, you know, one of the things that's, that we're really excited about this product is that most products affect, you know, one of those three things, whether it be you know, power, whether it be endurance or whether it be recovery, and oxygen affects all three of them, and it's like one of the best products you can use in all three of those categories, not, you know, not just one of them, and that's kind of what is kind of exciting about this. Yeah, I think, I mean, a lot of people, when they use energy drinks, they're looking for one aspect, maybe to help them stay awake, but and this is something that it really covers all the bases in the sense that it's just providing you with everything you need with no side effects and no crashing, which is ultimately what energy drinks do, is, you know, it might keep you awake, but then you crash. Yeah. And then, you know, you know, the recovery time is not there, the stamina and endurance is not there. You're just awake for an hour, and then you get to sleep for 15 hours when you crash from the thing. Yeah, I mean, I know you're, you're a very um, health-conscious individual, and I know that, like, in our conversations in the past, you've definitely mentioned how, you know, you're not the kind of person that likes to drink energy drinks, and, and I know they're getting a lot of bad rap lately, so... It, it sounds like this is kind of a perfect fit for you because you're not willing, you know, you don't want to put that kind of stuff in your body, but you still need the energy, the endurance, and the recovery time benefit. Yeah, I mean, I've been a vegetarian for 18 years. Like, I'm really aware of what I put in my body. Oh. And the thing with energy drinks, I don't think people realize is that, yeah, you're getting some vitamins, but you're getting so much sugar, and sugar is so bad for your body. It spikes insulin level, insulin levels. It depresses your immune system. You know, it, sugar is one of the worst things to put in your body, especially in that amount. Yeah. And I don't think people realize when they drink an entire can of Monster, they're putting like 70 grams of sugar in their body. You know, you're getting some B12, some B6, but it's really not worth the compromise in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How has, um, how has oxygen affected lactic acid production for you? Well, the thing, the thing with that is that it actually, well, my muscles don't fatigue nearly as quicker when I'm using the oxygen. Like when I'm not using it, I get tired pretty quick. When I'm taking it, um, my muscles don't fatigue nearly as quick, so I can ride harder and ride longer. It's amazing that something so simple can work that well, that it really is noticeable the first time you use it. For sure. I mean, it's like when people go from uh, high altitude and they all of a sudden go to sea level, they just have this tremendous boost of energy, and that's only about oxygen. That's all it is. It's human physiology. Yeah. You know, when you get that oxygen into your muscles, they just perform at a much higher level. Yeah, when you break it down, you know, cells need oxygen to live and, and to uh, support themselves and to rejuvenate. And when you're giving your cells, your body, that much oxygen, 
that quickly, obviously you can be able to rejuvenate yourself instantly. Yeah, for sure. So have you have you given the product to any of your colleagues that you know that you compete with, or just people you know in the industry to try? Yes, I know. Every time I go on the road, I'm going on tour. I always bring a whole bunch with me. You know, they're so small. It's like having a portable oxygen tank with you because they fit in your pocket. I bring them with me wherever I go. When I'm on the road, I'll give them to guys. I want to try it out because everybody's very curious about this. But a lot of people have heard a lot about it, but they haven't tried it. So they always ask me about it, and I have not had one person who I give it to use it and not say something amazing about it. I have not had one person say, yeah, this didn't work or this actually made me feel worse. It's always the same thing. This is amazing. It's amazing how quickly this worked. Uh, there's no side effects, and it's it's literally it's incredible how quickly it works. Yeah, that the instant gratification part of it without any side effects is just um, it's really really a good thing. I mean, people are so used to instant gratification these days, and the more you have a product that can produce instantaneous results like the oxygen can, I mean, I think the more you have something that's really going to stick because people want that instant gratification. Yeah, and I think what people don't realize is everybody that I talk to about it says the first thing to me. The first thing they always say is, why would I want to do that? I can just breathe oxygen. But they don't realize what they're breathing is 20%, at the most, 20% oxygen. The air is filled with so many other things other than oxygen. And when you're actually taking, the, taking it out of the can, uh, you know, the portable oxygen, it's 90% oxygen. So you're looking at a way greater amount of oxygen into your body without the other contaminants, other things that are in the air. And that's what they don't realize is that it's not just like breathing air. Yeah, and you know, when people bring that up to me, a lot of times what I'll tell them is, hey, you know, if you go from sea level to, let's say, 9,000 feet, it's a, it's a 5% reduction probably in oxygen level in the air you breathe. And it has a super dramatic effect on your athletic performance. So just a small 5% difference in oxygen levels in the air has a huge impact on how you perform. And then now we have a product that can give you 95% oxygen whenever you want it, whenever you need it. And people, you know, when they really realize, you know, those facts, then they start to understand why the product makes such a big difference. Right. That's just it. People don't know the facts behind the situation. Nobody really has done a whole lot of research about this because people don't really think about what's in the air besides the oxygen and how that works with your body. But when you break it down to, to the obvious facts, you know, it's obvious as to why it works. Yeah. So where do you see this product? I mean, your your sport is an action sport. It's you know it's it's um definitely for the younger generation of of uh you know sports enthusiasts I think. And where do you see this product fitting into like your type of sports? Well, the thing with our my type of sports is that image is everything, unfortunately. And the image that a lot of the energy drinks portray is kind of the hardcore, cool, cutting edge image. Mm-hmm. That's why that stuff is selling because kids are really in that image. If we could educate people about the benefits of this versus the drawbacks of energy drinks, I think everybody would be using this because it only makes sense. Um, as, soon as, beca- as soon as it becomes more widespread about how, how beneficial this stuff is and just the obvious facts behind why it works, I could easily see this taking over energy drinks completely because it's just so much better for you. It's just a much better product. It, it does the job better for you. It has no side effects. Um, and really when it comes down to it, it's just all around a better thing for your body. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what we see too. We see like, you know, energy drinks are getting a bad rap, and and we do know that all that sugar and all those stimulants, and, you know, it's just not good for you long term, and people just drink those things down like they're nothing. And, um, you know, this is such a great alternative. It actually has better athletic performance benefits for sure. It has better recovery benefits for sure. And like you said, you know, it, it's definitely healthy for you, and there's no side effects. So we're we're kind of excited about the prospects. Do you feel like um, it only works for people that are like high level athletes, or do you think that it can you know help anybody be a a better athlete? You know, I think it can help anybody. I think anybody who's doing anything physical in their life is going to benefit from this because whether you're working really hard, pushing your body to the limit every day, like I am, or you're just jogging twice a week, or maybe you do sports on the weekend. Your body still needs, your, your cells still need oxygen um, yep. for cell repair, for cell growth. You still need oxygen. And if you're taking this, you're obviously going to get more oxygen. It's going to benefit you in every way. The thing, too, is like what I tell people, too, is it is always relative. Like you're an elite athlete and you're pushing yourself really hard, but it's relative. You have a high level of fitness, you know, whereas somebody who's never really exercised recently or is out of shape and they go out and they go walk up a hill – to them, that's a very intense exertion because their body's not used to it. It's not ready for it. So, I mean, you know, it's all relative. Like, if, as long as you're 
you know, pushing yourself harder and outside of your comfort zone, I really believe also that oxygen can be very helpful in helping you reach your goals a lot faster. You know, it might even benefit those people more because they're not as in shape as some athletes. Therefore, the body is working harder, even if they're not working as hard on a daily basis. When they are working, their body is working very hard to keep up with it because they aren't used to that, and it actually may benefit them even more. Yeah, really good point. I, I agree with you. I agree with you. Anyway, there you have it, everybody. Uh, Tom Hogan, very, very um, elite level athlete, um, incredible skill involved in his sport, uh, very knowledgeable on health and fitness. Tom, we really appreciate your time. and really appreciate all the feedback you've given us tonight. Uh, thanks, Craig. Appreciate that very much.